The third video in this series deals with adding the div, header and logo. These divs appear side by side and therefore one of them needs to be floated. In this video we will float the logo div to the right, but it is just as correct to float the header div left. Firstly, let's add the HTML for the divs in the appropriate order. As the logo div is to be floated, it must come first in the HTML. Use copy and paste to enter the HTML and placeholders for the divs as we've done before. The size and padding of the divs is given in the page layout plan. And when setting the height and width, remember to take into account the padding inside the div. Add the CSS attribute float right to the logo divs styles and add background colors for each of the two divs. Finally, to ensure the header div does not slide under the logo div, add a margin right attribute to its styles, which is equivalent to the total width of the logo div. In this case, 240 pixels. Save all and view the page with its new divs in a web browser. Your page should now look like this. Now to see what happens when you put the divs into the HTML in the wrong order, swap the instances of header and logo, save all and view the page again. Notice that the header div is in the correct place, but the logo div appears below it and the other divs have moved up and part of the menu div now appears under the logo div. Put the HTML back so the logo is first and header follows it, and always remember to put floated divs first. The next video will deal with the more complicated task of adding the row with divs floated both left and right. <laughs>